Oh, that's beautiful. Well, let's get into the power of one man. We've already started, and that's awesome. But let's talk about one of the things that we I uh, kind of drew from the book is, book is uh, just one man can change the world. Do you really believe that? I mean, I believe it, oh. but... Well, I believe it because God believes it. Yes. And if God believes it, that's all I need to know, <laughs> that every time God wanted to do something great in the world, he didn't call a committee, he didn't call a group, <laughs> he reached out to one man. Examples, when God wanted to save the world from the flood and, and save one family as a remnant, he called out to one man, Noah, build me an ark in the middle of a desert. When God wanted to start a new nation, called the people of Hebrews. He reached out not to a group of people, but to one man, Abraham, and said, leave your mother and father and go to a land you know not of. I will bless those that bless you and curse those that curse you. When God wanted to create a small family and to create a way to save them from starvation. He called out to one man, Joseph, and he took him to the pit and to prison and the palace, but one man changed everything for his family. He said, mm. what you meant for evil, God used for good. When God wanted to separate them from Egypt, from the bondage, he didn't call a nation. He called to one man through a burning bush and said, Moses, go and tell Pharaoh to say, let my people go. When God wanted to put Judah on the throne of Israel, he reached out to one little boy, by then called a man through Samuel the prophet and anointed David, the next king of Israel. When God wanted to send the message of salvation to the Gentiles, he called a man on the Damascus road and said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And led him to become the greatest church planter and writer of church eschatology, theology, ethnocentric ideological words of hope and possibility. And then when God wanted to save the world from sin and debauchery and hell, he became one man, the Lord Jesus. And he that knew no sin became sin for us. So throughout the Bible, Old and New Testament, God has done his greatest work of transformation by one man.